EFEST is a giant engineering festival. It's a chance for the engineering communities to come together, compete against each other in different competitions. We've got Human Powered Vehicle Challenge, we've got the Student Design Competition, we have the 3D Printing Competition, and we have the Old Guard Competition. You want to get young people involved and get students the idea that they can participate and be part of the future. I think there's a lot of opportunities to kind of network with some different companies, kind of look at different ideas from different parts of the world. We took like three buses, two taxis, and a plane to get here. We wanted to show first that Venezuelan engineering quality is still great. We can be competitive. We are at the same level of whatever engineering in the world. It gets them the opportunity to go out of their comfort zone of where they're stuck in at school. All of us are mechanical engineers, so none of us really knew about the electrical stuff, uh, coding, things like that. So Andrew and John really did a lot with that, headed that up. So we've been at this the entire academic year. The second this prompt came out, we got right to work. We started designing, we brainstormed, got ideas from our younger guys, our older guys. Everyone's got so much creativity. We started studying the methodologies of reducing drag, and we looked at animals, and we found the owl uh, does something called the silent howling. We implemented that science on our fairing in the form of a spoiler at the end and it's actually reduced the drag by 20%. I learned a lot from this competition. I really appreciated the hands-on aspects, the application of every class that I had ever been in and that's a really valuable part of I think a budding engineer's education. And HPVC by far is the most energetic and the most involved with all the students. I think it's the best part of EFAS so far. It's actually our first time out here. We're very green in this. We're learning a lot from this experience. This is our second time competing. Last year it was hard to pick up speed and so we learned a lot from that and shifting gearing. So we've had some really strong, resilient teams. I don't want to be too confident, but I'm pretty confident in our riders and their abilities to actually handle the vehicle and make the sharp prints that we need to do. They were so spirited. They were so into the competition. I was really impressed with how much they put in and how tirelessly they worked. We ran into a couple of bumps. We had to change a couple of the tires. We had a little bit of wear. We got it back on the course as quickly as possible, and we're feeling pretty good about the pace that we're pulling right now. We actually had a really big problem coming here. We couldn't chip our bike. We actually had to to cut it into pieces and try to reassemble the whole thing. After our sixth lap, our pedal jumped off the crank arm. Another Mexico guy landed us uh, a crank arm and we could finish the, the race that way. You know, you feel like humble when that happens because you know that they really want to help you and you feel that you will have done the same for them. Engineers are fairly selfless people. And we recognize that even though we're competing and we're competitors, we care so much about what we're trying to do. We want to support each other anyway. It's exciting for ASME to put on this type of program because we want to engage and bring in more student members. ASME has 30,000 students around the world. One of the most important things about our student membership is that it gives these young people an entree into what ASME has to offer, which will stay with them for their professional careers. If you keep with it, you can be a part of your state chapter and you can be a part of the classes that they have and I think that's very beneficial to you to keep learning throughout your career and I, I think ASME is always going to be there to help you.